How's it going, everybody? My name is Daniel from Hazardous Entertainment, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. And let me say welcome to everyone who's recently subscribed after finding this series. Uh, I'm glad you guys are here, and I hope you stick around, because I got a lot more stuff coming. We're going to figure out how to do science today, and I'm very excited. The large complex nearest to you is the Research and Development Complex. That's this one. Go, oh, what in the world? Very good, but you see in the middle of the graph paper background is a tech line tree. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it's just a, it's just a tech tree. Oh, I'm just gonna get this one. Is that good? Cool. I did it. I got rocket parts. Hey, I got the, uh, it's the swivel. You can access these science archives by clicking the yellow button in the upper left. Oh. Whoa, hey! <laughs> There's two of you. Oh, which one's the real Werner? Which one's the real Werner? That's it. The first and most important thing to notice is the rugged good looks this fellow in charge. God bless this man's mustache. Another outstanding feature of the archive is that you can check which celestial bodies you have visited. How many are there? Jewel? Jewel? Elo? Dress? I haven't been to any celestial body. This covers the basics of science. Okay. Okay, so I get science. Is that really all there is to this? Okay. Is there any other training I need to do? I guess it's time to the MUN. Let's do it. All right, we're going to the MUN. Oh, we're already in space. Oh, we're already in space. Welcome to the first in a series of lessons designed to prepare you for flight in and around Kerbin's local system. Holy crap. The important part of flights between celestial objects is a transfer orbit, which means the orbit can be used to change between two orbits. In our case, the parapsis of our orbit will be very near to Kerbin, and the apopsis will extend to just beyond the Mun's orbit. We're just gonna like, so it's gonna be like a little, whoop, like that's gonna be our arc. Okay. Okay, where's the Mun? Whoa! Yeah, Mun's very far out there, isn't it? To perform a successful transfer, you need to arrange for your ship and target to arrive at the same place at the same time. If you really know what you're doing, you can calculate your own transfer orbit on the fly, or you could just try eyeballing it. No, I don't want to try eyeballing it. Do you know all the horrible deeds I've committed on this game th thus far? Click anywhere in your orbit to add a maneuver. Okay, so which way are we going? We're traveling that way, so maybe I, maybe I click there? Add maneuver. What? Oh, we're getting too close. Maneuver nodes let you plan orbital maneuvers ahead of time, but most importantly, you can do so without wasting precious propellant. The green ones are prograde and retrograde, the purple ones normal and anti-normal. Do you mean abnormal? You can click and drag the different handles. Do that. Is that good? Well, oh, broke it. Uh, okay. You can click and drag different handles to see how a burn made in that direction, the duration would affect the resulting orbit. Oh, so it's just like a... So if I was to go add a maneuver... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yes, that's what we need right there. Just a straight shot. Is that too much? It might not, might, might not be enough, that might be bad. Okay, exit that one, get a new one. So what happens if I... Oh, that's just... Whoa, that, is that what we need? That's, gonna, I'm gonna crash if I do that, I feel like. Well, uh, let's get to it then, okay. Okay, so click on a node, add a node. What's the, which one's prograde? Pull the prograde handle until the post maneuver orbit reaches as high as that of the mun. Is it this one? Wait, oh, you liked that for a second there, didn't you? Oh, okay, mun, 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 mun. Good, is that good? There we go, you've planned uh, Is that the mun? That's the mun, wait, what's that? That's the mun. What's the mun? What's the, 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 the bar on the right is a geographical to, to, Hey, I wasn't done. We're gonna get close to maneuver time. This is the final one. What, what do I, uh, pause. Once reoriented, you can worry about the burn down the planned vector represented by the blue cross. Okay, okay, all right. Blue cross, oh, just like that, right there? This, or is it, no, 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 wrong blue cross, wrong blue cross. You should have said baby blue. Here's an expert tip. Look at the burn time estimate. Where, this one? That thing right there, burn time, one minute. So I gotta burn for one minute and 10 seconds. Right now? Like right now? Like that? Right there? Is that good? But I think that's the wrong crosshair. Have fit and start your burn when the T minus reader reads that. Oh shit, okay. Let's try it again. Your post maneuver orbit will enter the Mun's sphere of influence. Great. There are two things to notice now. The bar on the right is a graphical depiction of the velocity change required to perform the burn you've plotted. Below, you will also see the approximate time necessary to make the maneuver. A new timer also counts down the moment your ship will reach the maneuver mode. Okay. 
We can speed up time to get to the burn position faster by clicking any point in the orbit beyond the maneuver mode and then clicking warp to maneuver. Great, so click here and warp to next maneuver. Oh, oh, we're warping. Oh, oh, we're warping. Warp is happening. Okay, pause. Look at the burn time estimate. The burn time estimate is a minute and 11 seconds. 36 seconds, right? Applying this tip means you should start your burn about the countdown. Oh, reads 40. So not 36, 40. Okay, 40. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Oh! oh, eight. Okay, so the burn time. Is that good? Is this good? I, I guess we'll find out when this happens. If I start going this way, that'll be good. Oh, we're getting close to that maneuver point. What does it look like out here? Oh, it looks crazy out here. Is it doing? Oh, no. I didn't align the ship with the blue cross. I blame my... That's, I only have myself to blame for that one. This is going to work, correct? Okay, I got my eye on the thing. Because the SAS is not letting me target project. Unless I'm supposed to do, like, one of these. But, but, it's pointing me in that direction. I'm really thinking it wants me to go in that direction. I'm starting to think I'm supposed to do that one. Oh, I was definitely supposed to do the dark blue. Oh, my God. So we're going to the mine. Oh, we had it. We had it. Uh, see, I don't get how it how it knows. If I warp to next maneuver. Oh, oh, we're going around the planet. We're going around the good old planet. Oh, shit. Okay. So I, I've kind of fucked it up, but I think I'm doing it right now. I'm still not hitting the orange trail. I feel like I'm supposed to be. Oh, wait. Oh, is he? Wait. He's kind of teetering the line. 15 seconds to, to end the burn. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going away! Come back! Good work. Stop the burn. Try warping just inside the MUN's SOI. Okay. Sure. What is the SOI? Can I target this? Are you sure I'm not allowed to target anymore? Target the maneuver. Oh, Jesus. Oh. You never expect a game to be this complicated. And yet, here I am. And I'm Burn! Burn, and it's gonna track it for me. Burn for the next minute and 18 seconds. I got it. I figured it out. Nobody tells me how to, to orbit. Orbit. Is the blue line... So I'm, I'm gathering that the blue line is supposed to become the orange line, right? That's... Yep, I think that's exactly what's happening. Three, two, one. Okay, so what is he saying now? Good work. You may have noticed your actual orbit is not exactly the one you had planned. This is because real burns are never instantaneous. However, close enough is good enough, as long as the trajectory markers are showing that we got a MUN encounter pretty close. If you'd be sucked up by the MUN's gravity, but since it would take around six hours, you'll probably want to use the warp here tick. Would it really take real world six hours to do that? You say SOI. Is that the MUN escape? MUN encounter? What happens if I go here? Wait, am I headed there? Dude, I- dude, dude, what am I- how do- <sighs> Gene, I don't think I'm intercepting the mun. Gene? What's happening? Okay, oh! Uh, hey, hey, ha, uh, who? Mun's the only gravitational motion of the ship, but you are an escape trajectory relative to the mun, which means you are now moving too quickly to orbit the mun. If we don't do anything, you'd whiz past and escape! Add a node at the parapsis. Okay. But where is the parapsis? Okay, see, that's- uh, You're showing me Mun Escape. Alright, so I'm- I'm seeing Mun Escape right there. This is my parapsis. This one? This one, right? Th it's gotta be this one, because I'm following the blue line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? 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 Where's it going? Like that? Is that bad? Does anyone know what's going on? Is it just not- Is it me? Target point eight. <laughs> what are you saying? All right, and we're popping up a tutorial here because Gene is a fucker, and I don't like him. Did that? What the fuck is happening? Why over the mun? Oh my god, there's the mun. Where am I going? What is? What are all these lines? See, I don't have an orbit anymore. That really terrifies me. The fact that I don't have an orbit anymore. I don't. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I, I, I feel like I need to restart. I feel like I just need to retry this whole thing. Like, I, oh, my God. How did you get the line, sir? What happens if I do what I've just done here? Because that's a, pretty much all I can think of. 
Oh my god, this laser show is fucking insane. Alright, I got 46 second burn, so that's good, at least. Oh, here we go. That ain't gonna be enough, is it? I'm out of fuel. Out of fuel. You said I had enough. Bitch, you said I had enough. Where did I end up? What? Huh? Oh! 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 I just want to land and the men. I got enough fuel, I think, to perform this. I hope. Nope, oh, lines are doing stuff. Oh, lines are doing stuff, in fact. Oh, my blue is coming close. My blue is coming close. Okay, here we go. Throttle down. Oh, I got enough fuel left. I totally got enough fuel left. Here we go. Oh, I totally got enough fuel left. Oh, and... Boink! Is it good? Oh, no, it's not good. Oh, my God, we're totally gonna crash, aren't we? All right, let's warp forward a little bit because we're in orbit technically. Let's get a little closer. Okay, so now if I put a maneuver here. Oh, uh -huh. oh, almost. Hang on, maybe make it smaller. Hey, I think that'll be orbit. Is that intersecting? Shouldn't be. It might be though. All right, skip to that. Oh, fuck. Well, I, Whew. wait, hold on. Yep, we're gonna, we're crashing. We're gonna crash. Do that, please. Oh, we're gonna crash. Oh, we're totally gonna crash. Well, here we are crashing, everyone. Um, but you know what? It's probably fine. I, I suppose I could've... No, nah, I probably would've died. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. I understand I skipped orbiting, and that's probably why I had such trouble with this one. But I'm not one to back down from a challenge, so we're going into this. I've, I've, I've watched several tutorial videos on this. Now I want this. Yep, just like that. Oh, a little slower. How, uh, maybe a little bit more. Do I want that? I think I want that. I, I probably cut out a lot of my attempts. Oh, I'm supposed to go. Oops, that's fine. We can, uh, we can make it work. We're fine, don't worry about it. This is not the part I have a problem with. I, I am totally fine with getting out of this. Once I get to the moon, that I have a problem with. And boom. Perfection. All right, that is a perfect trajectory right there. That's exactly what I want. Okay, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see a lot. Do I want to mess with this? Yep, this is the one I want to mess with. Yep, okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, 0.8. Gene, if I get it to point eight, you bastard! If I get it to point, Gene, Gene, you don't understand, Gene, you don't understand, Gene, you don't understand. I'm just gonna do this based on what I know. SAS, get us in line. Oh, the moon's so close. Can I see it from the big view? I want to see it from the big view. That's the Earth. That's the moon. Okay. Oh, Valentina is thrilled. Valentina, here we go. Three. Oh, I said eleven. So now. Uh huh. Now! Okay. I want to check that. How's that look? Okay, wait. Oh, I haven't seen this part. I've never gotten to this part. Hold on. Now that you're not in an escape trajectory, try to get yourself a reasonably circular orbit below at least 20. I have enough fuel for that. Okay, but we're... We're good. Like, we're, we're in orbit. We're in orbit! We're in orbit! Oh, we gotta get a better orbit, though. Okay, what? How about that? Is that good? All right, here we go, guys. We made what well, we successfully orbit. We did orbit successfully. I did it. I did it, and I didn't even. I didn't even need a tutorial. Where's the mud? Oh, look at the mud. We're doing a flippy maneuver too. Okay. All right. I don't even care if Gene approves this. When I do, if I do this correctly, I'm calling it. That's that's good. Oh. Uh -huh. <gasps> He's so thrilled with me! Good work! You're now in a stable circular orbit around the moon with a ship fully capable of landing! Capable of landing, anyway, after you decouple the transfer- Yeah, okay, shut the hell up. I am victory dancing over here. Today you have learnt- Is it learnt? You're the science man, whatever you say. But I did it. I am very happy with myself. In fact, before we end today, let's get a look at that moon! Oh! 
Oh, the moon! But I did it. I successfully orbited around the moon, and, and you guys were here to see it. And I'm so thankful for all of you who have subscribed to this series and subscribed to this channel. I have a lot more videos to come, a lot of different games I want to play. I want to keep playing Kerbal. Got a lot of other stuff down the pipeline, though. Uh, and I hope you stick around for it, because it's going to be a really, really fun time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and also leave a comment down below telling us what you want to see next. But as always, my name is Daniel, and I'll see you guys next time. Valentina! Yay!